By now, I'm sure you have seen the video. The video that is making the rounds with a child, a girl, a teenage girl, giving countless slaps to another girl. I've been livid. And in the midst of all the things that I'm feeling, I've just come to this conclusion. We are failing our children on many levels. We're failing our children when we refuse to listen to them because we are so busy trying to make money or trying to attend to work or just trying to keep things together. We're failing our children. The girl who was being slapped, I don't want to believe that she has not tried to speak up or she has not tried to tell somebody something. I don't want to believe that. For me, I'm just thinking that she may have tried once, twice, but when nobody was taking her seriously, she just kept quiet. And look at what it has degenerated to. We're failing our children when we fail to teach them empathy. Maybe because of our own animalistic behavior. The ways that they are seeing us treat people around them. You think they are not watching? You think they, they are not seeing it? The girl who was busy throwing those slaps. Something is fundamentally wrong. She's, she has a problem. And that problem has to be uncovered. We need to get to the root of what her problem really is. Because she didn't just, she was not born like that. She didn't grow up to just become this mother. She didn't. Something must be going on in her life. Something must have been going on in her life to get her to that point. We're failing our children when we fail to teach them how to feel. How to feel. Look, we need to get serious about investing in other things that will build our children up apart from just academics all the time. We need to get serious about choosing the right schools for our children. Check out the character of the school that you are putting your child in. Do they align with your beliefs? It's not all about just saying, oh, all the rich people in the world are in this school, so my child must be there. Have you asked questions? Have you investigated? Have you, do you, what, what is the culture of the school like? Do their teachers listen? In this same breath, I want to talk about, I want to talk about teachers because I've also had a child who has been bullied. And I know that several times this child will come back home and say, yes, I told my teacher. What did your teacher do about it? My, my teacher just said he shouldn't do it again. Or my teacher didn't do anything. So we need to listen to our children. We are failing them each time we trivialize the things that they find uncomfortable, which they are trying to talk to us about. This is the one that we are seeing. This is the one everybody is raving and ranting about. But these things are happening. They are happening. Please, let's make out time to talk to our children. Let's spend mindful quality time with our children every day even if it is just for 15 minutes the 15 minutes that we're just going to give our attention to the children we're not doing devices at that time we're not doing anything 15 minutes of just paying attention finding out what exactly is going on so that we don't miss these things so that we don't miss these signs i just hope that the two children involved, not just the two of them, but even the bystanders. Because when we talk about bullying, there is the bully, there is the bullied, and then there are bystanders. The schools you're putting your children in, how much are they invested in promoting anti-bullying um, campaigns? How big are they on insisting that bullying is not allowed? How proactive are they about these things? It's not about just having the money and throwing your child anywhere. Please, now that we know better, let's do better. Don't allow yourself be that parent who opens up social media only to see their child getting 
abused like that. So heartbreaking. And don't allow yourself to be that parent who opens up social media to see that their child is the one abusing somebody so heartlessly. Let us not, let us try not to raise children to be either of the bo of, of, of these. Balance in everything. We need to invest our resources wisely in how we are raising our children. No lopsidedness. It's not all about academics. You need to invest in their social and emotional growth as well. You need to invest in, in their physical development. You need to invest in it. Let's raise rounded, well-rounded children. I, I don't think I've been this animated in any of my videos ever. This, You see this one? It just got the worst of me and I had to just quickly come in here and do this video. Now that we know better, let's do better. Thank you.